Hey everybody, I am back again with another tour review. This time it is the Jack Specific Sonic the Hedgehog Classic um, Level Clear Diorama. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite things that Jax has made so far. I mean, they've made a lot of really cool stuff, but I've always loved these little end scenes where Sonic would jump on top of the button and free the little animals. Um, and it comes with a little... A spinning end piece with uh, Robotnik on this side and the other side has Sonic on it apparently. Well, we'll see that when we get them out. And uh, here we get a little uh, bunny and a little birdie and their names are Flicky and Pocky. They are very cute. Um, can't wait to check those out. And so I'm gonna take this right under the box. Um, oh, interestingly enough, um, it looks like these were supposed to come out this so it was supposed to come out with this wave which was released quite some time ago so i'm not i'm not really sure what the hold up was with this little wave or with this little set here um but yeah unless they're planning to re-release these again but i don't know um yeah so anyways <laughs> let's get this out Check it out. I do, I'm loving these uh, classic figures. I do wish they would do a line based on the uh, classic cartoon with uh, Robotnik and Scratch and Grounder, and, you know, coconuts and things like that. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen. My God, this thing will not come in the box. There we go. It's gonna make a make a fool out of me. Anyways, so. <clears throat> Neat little gamey looking stuff inside there. Um, let's. So, yeah, so this just like so. That's a cute little background. I love the little um, pixels, pixels going on in the background there. <clears throat> let's get that. Out. This definitely has Sonic on it, and it spins around. Look at that! I love it. It's all pixelated. Very cool. Very cool. I suppose they haven't done um, pixel figures yet for this line, uh, like they did the Mario line. Man, this is cool. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. I wish it had a thing you stay on because you're gonna have to hold it if you want to spin it. So that is very cool. I love that. Um, let's see. We'll just go along. I wonder if I have my exacto blade. I don't try this at home, kids. Not anybody getting cut. See, this is the star of the show here. Now, something I'm uh, actually kind of disappointed in, and I can't believe Jax actually did this, um, is that this all around, this is a sticker. I hate stickers. Stickers suck, because um, eventually the glue on the sticker will go bad, and it will fall off probably, or get gross. Um, I'm going to test out the little mechanism. Uh, the little yellow pieces are painted on, though. Like the little yellow lights. So, anyways, let's see. Let's see how this goes. Oh, nope. Well, that didn't work too well. I thought it kind of would have sprung open, but the spring isn't so, so hot on that. Huh, interesting. Yeah, it doesn't really... <laughs> so one side flung open. So yeah, it doesn't work so well. Um, I guess... There you go. You kind of have to hit it hard. There we go. Nope. Yeah, you gotta, really gotta press it real hard. Okay, so that's... It's pretty cool. I love the sculpt though. The sculpt is nice. Um, it's, it's a cool concept. Um... For whatever reason, the, the, the spring isn't working as well as I think it should, but, I mean, other people might like it. So, this is like the typical little classic Sonic that we have gotten a bunch of times. Um, the arm color looks different to me. Actually, I don't, I'm moving my collection to a different room right now, so I don't have all my Sonic stuff out. <laughs> um, let's see. It's a little smuts on the ear here from the ear paint. Um, 
a little rub off on the belly there. I don't know. Mm -mm. Otherwise, it looks pretty good. Um, let's see. These little guys don't have a ton of articulation, but more than you would expect, honestly, from such a small toy. Uh, I think Jax is doing pretty good, honestly. Um, the gloves don't move, though, on these. Yeah, they're just glued into place there. The head is on a peg. That pops right off. There you go. I'll go back on pretty easily. Um, so articulation at the hip. Uh, the feet do not move. You're going to have to move them to the hip here. Uh, so that's really where these little guys differ from the big figures. Um, but yeah, so that's what we've got so far going on. All those guys. Let's get this. Honestly, the real stars. I'm just packed with these little critters. I can't believe they twist tie these little guys in here. I'm gonna get uh, Flicky and Pocky out here. And uh, Pocky, they've got, got this little critter tied in here twice. Making it really impossible to get him out. Oh my god. There we go. Very difficult, very ridiculous. These twist ties are just so unnecessary. Um, anyways, I'm gonna go look at Flicky first. I love the sculpt, love the paint job. Very cute. Um, let's see, typical, you know, on a peg, head is on a peg. Um, eyes are a separate piece of plastic. Um, they have the real big head here. Um, nothing else is separate except for the eyes. Mouth is painted on, the line across the face is painted, little cheeks are painted. Um, let's see. Oddly enough, these little the little wings. Little wings are articulated very cute, very cute. Um tail does not move, that is in place there. I don't think the little legs move. No, they are glued in place, so those are not gonna move. But the head and the little wings move, so that's very cute that. Let's see this little bugger stands up on its own. It doesn't have holes in the feet. They put on a peg, so you're gonna have to kind of lean that little guy back. It won't have a lot of trouble standing on its own. Oh no, I got it. Okay. <laughs> I take that back. It's probably just how my uh, leg kit is leaning back. So this is a uh, Pocky. Pocky's super cute. Um, the eyes and the mouth are one piece of plastic, and they are plugged into the face. Um, the ears are a separate piece. You can see there's the, the glue there on both. So it's very nice. The paint is very well done on this little guy, too. A little smuts around the mouth area, but it's not too bad. Um, head is on a peg, per usual, with this line. And it can rotate all the way around. Um, the tail is a separate piece of plastic but it does not move, it's just glued into place there. Um, the hind legs move, as do the front legs. So, very cute. I love that we're getting little animals. It'd be great if we got some more. And maybe another set, or if they um, release them singular, or they could come in like a little two-pack together or something. That would be very cool. Um, let's see. How well they stay in here. Okay. I'm gonna have sound like free these guys. Hey, that worked pretty good, huh? Alright, folks. Well, now that these little guys are free from the clutches of Eggman or Dr. Robotnik, as I like to call him, still. <laughs> um, that is about it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, have a good one.